If you spend much time looking at the bottom of your shoes, Hi, I'm Ralph from What the Age is Running. Today we're going to talk about looking at the bottom of your running shoes to understand how you're pronating when you run. I don't know if you know what pronating is. It's a natural process. We go when we run. Typically when we run, we kind of land on our heel and transfer our weight on the outside of our foot and then roll slightly inward and then push off with our ball of our foot or the toe, the big toe. And that's normal. That's normal. Pro they call that pronation. And normally we don't go too far one way or the other. We just roll a little bit and get that foot entirely flat on the ground as we do our foot strike. However, if we tend to roll too much or not enough or in the other direction, that can affect our body and the mechanics of our run. And sometimes we can do some things about that, sometimes we can't. So let me show you my shoe. Can you see the bottom of my foot here? See how it's worn on the outside? Can you see how that um, is wearing on the outside of my heel? There's a reason for that. But before we get to that, we're going to start and talk about normal wear on a shoe. If you have that normal pronation that I talked about where you land on your heel, transfer the, the, your weight from the outside to the inside of your foot, where you don't go too far in, the wear pattern on your shoe would look kind of normal. It would kind of look evenly across the ball and kind of evenly across the heel in this direction. You will not see this kind of a pattern here. Now, when I talk about wearing your shoes, I'm talking about uh, a well-used pair of shoes. These shoes here I'm holding here have about 220 miles on them, and you definitely see this wear in the heel. So don't look at some shoes with, you know, 100 miles. You need to get some shoes you've been running in quite a bit to look at and determine your wear pattern. So if you have an even wear across the ball and across the heel, you've got a normal pronation, a normal gait. Kudos to you. Keep doing what you're doing. Now, what if you look at your shoe and you see a lot of wear on the inside of the ball and the inside of the heel? That means you're probably over pronating. So it means your, your foot is going too far in. You tend to roll inward. And one of the big reasons for that has to do with your arch. Either you have a very small arch or you have no arch. You have flat feet. So when you roll, that arch collapses. It has no support and causes your ankle and your leg to roll in too far. And of course, doing that can cause some mechanical problems with your body. It can arise in plantar fasciitis, you can get shin splints, knee problems, so it could cause you some difficulty and pain. And you should be able to see that in the bottom of your shoe if you're doing that. Now there are a couple things you can do uh, to help with that. One is exercises. And, and the things you want to do, because that arch collapses when you, when you roll inward, is do some exercises to try and strengthen your arch. One of the ones that I always did, I call it the toe crunch, where you take a towel, put it on a hard surface floor and stand on it with your bare feet, and then use your toes and try and scrunch up that towel. Try and scrunch up the towel like you're trying to pull it under your foot. And keep doing that, you know, maybe 10 to 12 times and repeat that uh, as often as you can tolerate and try and build up that arch muscle. You'll feel that uh, muscle tension in the, in the arch of your foot and that'll help strengthen so that when your foot rolls, it'll have a little more uh, strength to it and not collapse as much when you, when you start rolling to the inside. Now the other thing you can do has to do with your shoes and shoes can help compensate for that. Most of the running shoe sites, if you look at them, do a little bit of a search, you can find shoes that they recommend for over pronation. And typically they fall into one of two categories. One they call stability shoe, the other one is called a motion control shoe. Now not every shoe site has both. Most of them have a stability shoe, some have a motion control shoe. Now both of these shoes, the stability shoe and the motion control shoe, add more support what they call the medial section of the foot. That's kind of inside your arch. That's again to help with that rolling over, that collapsing of the arch. So they both do that. Now the motion con control also goes one step further and adds some support in the heel. It might have a deeper heel cup. It just might have some more support. Again, trying to help your foot uh, minimize that foot from rolling over. So doing those toe scrunches and getting a stability or motion control shoe could help you with that over pronation. Now what about my shoe where I've got this on the outside? Now that is an entirely different problem. It's not over pronation. Some people call it under pronation, but that's really the wrong term. The correct term is supination or I tend to supinate and that's kind of riding on the outside of my foot. My foot doesn't want to roll in. It wants to stay on the outside and that causes all this wear on the heel. I always wonder why are my shoes wearing on the outside of my heel like that? I didn't know that for years until I was researching uh, this one day and found out, oh, I supinate. And because I supinate, this is classic because we tend to want to strike on the outside of our heel and we keep all of our body weight and our forces on the outside of our foot. So that tends to cause the wear a lot on this side of the shoe. So if you have wear up in here on, on the outside of your shoe and on the outside of your heel, you're a supinator like me. So like overpronation is caused by a weak arch or flat feet, 
supernations caused by the opposite, in other words, high arches. And those high arches can cause uh, plantar fasciitis, for example. And that's what started my whole journey about this. I got plantar fasciitis, went to podiatrist, x-rayed my feet, and says, oh my goodness, you have really high arches. So the cure for me, and, and one thing to help if you're a supernator, are calf stretches. And I actually have a video on that. I'll queue up at the end. But stretching your calves or strengthening your calves also can help if you supinate like me. So one thing you can do uh, in addition to those exercises is an arch support. You can go out and buy insoles for your shoes that help with uh, high uh, arches, uh, shoe store, running store, uh, online, you can find those. Or if you're really having some issues with your feet, go to a podiatrist. I did and got a prescription for some custom orthotics. So I had some orthotics uh, that fit my, fit my arch and give me support in my foot as I walk and as I run. So getting an arch support could help in addition to doing those calf stretching and calf strengthening exercises. So most running shoe websites will not give a recommendation on a shoe for supination because there's not that many of us out there. Uh, I read one statistic that said maybe only 5% of runners supinate. So we're in a definite minority here. But you can pick some shoes that can help that condition. One is get ones with plenty of cushion and one that can help absorb some of that impact in the midsole that would at least help with some of that pressure on your foot, maybe help alleviate and, and reduce the risk of plantar fasciitis. Also a wide toe box that will allow the toes to splay out, absorb some of that running energy, and maybe actually help you pronate a little bit, even though you're disinclined to do that. So kind of a cushion wide toe box shoe can really help if you supinate like me. So get an old pair of your running shoes out, take a look at them, see what you're doing there. Now, if you have uh, if you're concerned or you have a question about, am I over pronating too much? Am I over supinating? Am I rolling too much? Go see a professional. Go see a podiatrist. That's what I did. They helped a lot in getting my custom orthotics, give me some uh, exercises to do to help primarily with plantar fasciitis, but I learned a lot about my foot. So I try to give you a few guidelines to help if you have a mild case either way and want to take a few steps to maybe help with your condition there to alleviate any injuries you might experience in your ankles or your, your legs. Uh, but by all means, go to a podiatrist if you're having some concern or some difficulty or pain. Hey, thanks again for watching. I really enjoyed talking to you. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you like this video, please scroll down a little bit and hit the like icon. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you stick around with me, uh, discuss running and learn about running with me. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks again and happy running.